In my last selenite video, we cut the crystals into jewelry-sized pieces. Now let's shape them. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to shape the selenite crystals so that they look like Herkimer diamonds. No specialty equipment needed. I'll also give you alternative suggestions for tools in case you don't have the ones that I'm using. You'll need to keep the stone wet. I am using a drip system. A bowl of water will work just fine. I'm going to start with a 6 inch coarse diamond file. If you don't have this, you can use coarse wet dry sandpaper. If you have a diamond cutoff disc like this one from the last video, you can use that to shape the stone also. We are going to either file the top into a pyramid or a dome shape. Do what you feel comfortable with. You can either hold it in your hand like this or hold it horizontally. I found it much easier and quicker to rough out the shape with the file clamped to my bench like this and have the water dripping onto it. Now for a quick inspection. Then I cleaned up the shape by holding it in my hand. It's only been a few minutes, but look how much progress we made. After the large coarse file, I switched to a medium grit diamond needle file. Again, you can use finer sandpaper if you don't have diamond files. It looks good and you may want to leave it raw like this for a rough look stone. Next we will be using a sanding stick or a wet dry sandpaper 600 grit. This will remove the file marks. You can hold it in your hand or mount it horizontally. Now I'm going to repeat this step with finer and finer grits of sandpaper. Normally I start with 600 and then 1000 or 1500. After that 2000 and 3000. Just use the finest that you have. Okay, let's get a good look at this and wow, really nice so far. Okay, sandpaper is done and on to the pre-polish step. I'm using a felt wheel charged with Tripoli. Watch out so that you don't build up too much heat. You can ruin the stone at this step if too much heat builds up. I polished for about 30 seconds on each end. It's at this point where it will really start to look like something. If you watch my next video on polishing selenite, you'll really see its full potential. And here's the final fully polished product. All right, what's next? Well, let's drill them in my next video. And remember, keep on plating and creating.